Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. So in today's video what I'm going to be going over is a continuation of my previous video where in that I showed you how to create foliage like so using the foliage tool and today I'm going to be going over foliage culling which is a very efficient way of loading and unloading the foliage assets based upon the distance the player is from them because obviously if you're really far away you don't need to load them in because you're not going to be able to see them anyway. So that's what we're going to be going over and creating and setting up today so without further ado let me just show you how we're doing it. So what we're going to do is go straight back into our foliage tool here and what we're going to do is then firstly select the assets which we want to unload. So for me that's just going to be all of them. As you can see I've got a lot of instances inside of my level here in a very small space. So once you've got them all selected we're going to scroll down on the left until we find cool distance. The minimum for me is going to stay at zero because when I'm right there I obviously want it to still be loaded and the maximum I'm going to start off with 10,000 so I am going to be 10,000 units away for it to unload and you can already see these over here have now unloaded because I'm not close enough and if I had to go closer they will now load in and you might think well that looks really bad now because it just looks like it cuts off there but if you were to actually get down onto the level of where we're playing you can't actually see the difference made because you can't actually see over there anyway so it doesn't need to be loaded in so we can now actually maybe even lower this to maybe 5,000 so it's even closer again we can't notice the difference there but if we look up you'll notice it's right here so if I were to just go above this what you should see is a circle around me of where it's going to be loaded in like so and I think this now looks great because we can go in and out and it's going to be loading and unloading which is already going to have a massive boost on the system performance and you can also change this for different assets so let's say you want the trees to load in before the grass so if I just select just the trees I can change the maximum from 5,000 to 10,000 and you'll notice we now have trees before we have grass because really the player is going to notice the trees before they see the grass aren't they? So we can maybe also make the grass even lower so let's say 2,500 and you'll notice that is now slightly different it's not made a massive difference but it's made a slight one so let's go even 100 and you'll notice again I think we can't really tell because there's so many other stuff in there like the bushes and all that so you can obviously change it for everything in there as well if you do want to but I think for me that is going to be fine because so if I press play again we can't really actually tell that they've not loaded in because of how dense it is for me I can't see that far and if you were to walk around it's all going to be loading and unloading behind and in front of us so we're only loading in what we need and this is now running nice and smoothly so what I'm going to do is stat FPS and see what FPS I'm getting so I'm getting about 40 to 50 frames a second inside of this footage here we'll say actually 40. If I were to close this and remove the culling off of all of these let's see what frames I'm getting. So if I now play I'm still getting around 30 instead so it's not a huge difference for me mainly because of the system I'm using it's not going to make a difference at all because my system can handle it however for lower end systems especially someone who's playing the game not developing it this will help a lot so as you can see the difference it makes if I were to go over here this is it as normal and then this is it with culling enabled we're going to have a lot less actually loaded which as you can assume really does help system performance. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've gone over everything we wanted to do today all we've done is very simply set up foliage culling so we can load and unload foliage assets based on the distance they are from the player to make the game run a lot smoother on any system as you can see here. So thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful and if you did make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.